Greetings, YouTube. Rawr! Dale Puckett here, and in this lesson, I'm going to talk about chords and building chords using the three string cigar box guitar tuned 151. One. It could be any 151. One. This one here happens to be E, B, E. And as many of you know, that is a power chord, and that power chord can be moved around with one finger. For example, here's G. A, C, D, E. Okay, those power chords are neither major or minor, so if I want to make it a major chord, I'm going to have to put a third in there. So I'm going to leave the top two strings open, and I'm going to put my third here on the fourth fret. That's a major third. Think of it as jingle bells. The major third is two whole steps above the root. There's the major third. Now this chord could be moved around as well. Here's an A major, and here's a B major. Now these chords can be inverted by putting the third in the bass. The same chord, just upside down. That's a B major with the third in the bass. Here's an A major with the third in the bass. And here's an E major with the third in the bass. If I want to make this minor, I just lower this third a half step. So here's E minor. Again, the third in the bass. I can put the third on the top or the third in the bass. This is called an inverted. So here's A minor or A minor. Again, that's the flat of third. B minor or inverted B minor. If I want to make this a minor seven chord, I'm going to add the flatted seven. Here's the root. Here's another, here's the flatted seven. So here's the flatted seven, the third, and the root is in the, is in the bass. So this here is a minor seven chord, in this case here, E minor seven. Here's A minor seven. B minor seven. Um, let's see here, a major seven. So here's the major third, and here's the major seven. So if I put all these notes together, I get a major seven chord. And the same thing, I can move that around too. Here's A major seven. B major seven. And that again is your root. That would be E. All right, so all of those chords, we were assuming that the root was in the bass note. Now for these chords here, I'm going to assume the root is on my middle string. So if I come up here to the 5th fret and play that note, that note in a 1-5-1 one, one tuning will be the same note as the open other two strings here. In this case here, they're all E's. So if I put my middle finger here on the E string and my index finger here on the major 3rd, I have a major chord, right? And I can put my five in the bass here. So this, this grip here is really common. This is a major major chord that I can move around. Again, this is my root, this is the fifth, and this is the third. So whatever note this is here is going to be the name of the chords here. So here's E, here's D, here's C. So that's the major chord. If I want to make it minor, I just lower the major third down a half step and now it's minor. So here's E minor. Again, I have the five in the bass. A minor. B minor. And if I lower the fifth, it becomes a diminished chord. That would be a B diminished chord. A minor. If I lower the fifth, it becomes A diminished.
Okay, so next I want to talk about dominant seven chords. Typically, I build dominant seven chords uh, on the low string here, being the root here. So in this case here, here's A. And here's the major third here. So, two whole steps up from here. It's here. So here's, the, here's my root, here's the major third, and here's the flatted seven right here. I don't know if you can see that. That is a dominant seven chord. In this case here, A, dominant seven. And I can move this around. B, dominant seven. D, dominant seven. E, dominant seven. Another way I like to do dominant seven chords is instead of playing the root or the the root, the third and the seven, I'll do the root, the five and the seven. Same thing. So this this here is an A dominant seven. Here's also an A dominant seven. A little different voicing. Sometimes it's easier to play it this way. So this would be a B dominant seven. Here's an E dominant seven. So there you have it. Um, oh yeah, also extension, extended chords. Extended chords are really easy because they're just basically um, one string all the way up here. And I'll just give you a quick rundown here. So here's a E2. That's one note down from the minor third. Or you could call it a nine chord if you like. There's a flat nine, kind of dissonant. The major third. Major seven. This one here is called a suspended because here's the third. So this would be E suspended. E major. This one here is a regular E, E flat five, E flat five. This one here would be a minor six chord. Real dissonant. And here would be a six. And here's a dominant seven again. And here's a major seven. Back to the root. So those are actually easy ones. They're just one finger on one string. Alright, so there you have it, man. Just about every chord. I didn't talk about augmented chords. Um, I guess I could show you an augmented chord. Let me see if I can figure one out here. So I have a major third. Um, and then I want to get this note in. Alright, so huge stretch here. Augmented chord. Very seldom used, but very cool sounding. Again, these are just whole uh, major steps everywhere. E, a major step down, and then a major step down here. So there you have it, guys. Just about every chord in the book can be played on a three-string cigar box guitar. What do you know about that?